Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I figured I would jump on and do an empties video while my house is nice and quiet. It's just the girls here today. So if you hear snoring or walking around, oh, you can see Willow's paws. Um, anyway, I have some empties. Just, I know I say this every once in a while, but just to kind of reiterate, I don't have a huge house. Um, Cause people are like, how do you get through so much wax? I don't have a huge house. My house is under 2,200 square feet. It's like 2,160. It is a two-story. We do have central air that is on all the time, um, except we do shut it off from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I know, crazy. It's 106 here currently, but we do shut the air off. But the house, I like the house super, super cold. So when it is running... Sometimes, you know, people come over and want to wear a sweatshirt. Um, I have 17 warmers. That's including, like, the mini warmers in my bathroom, that kind of stuff. What else? And I do warm 24 hours a day. I do not shut my warmers off. My kids shut theirs off from time to time in their bedrooms. They each have one warmer in their bedroom. So I just wanted to... Just put that out there that, you know, some things that might be super strong for me may not be for you, vice versa. Just like scent preferences, we, you know, all have our differences of opinions when it comes to what we like in home fragrances. So, I am going to start with some non-wax items. We finished a soap. Well, the boys did in their bathroom. This was in Warm Tea and Sage. I do like this one a lot. It's fresh tea, lemon, and herbs. Just a really nice, clean. This one lingers. Um, continue to repurchase. I know, not many people are obsessed with the soap sales at uh, Bath and Body Works. I am, and um, yeah. Went through two bags of the Equate Jumbo Cotton Balls. One in the 400 count and one in the 200 count from good old Walmart. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I like hot dump into a like container. I use like the silicone cupcake things. I use cotton balls. I don't ever like freeze just because I don't shut my warmers off. So that's what works for me. So sometimes I go through a lot of cotton and sometimes I don't. Okay, and one candle from Goose Creek in Warm and Welcome. Doesn't have scent notes, but, oh it does. Vanilla, cashmere, marshmallow creme, vanilla orchid, white mocha, and creamy woods. So this is um, like a beach night's dupe. Thank you to Maggie here on YouTube for talking about this. Um, because I do really, really, really enjoy that candle. Put it in the candle crock and that, my husband turns that off at night. So that gets turned on and off. Um, it pretty much complements any wax that I'm warming. So I would say that kicked around here for like a good two weeks and that was like on a lot. It was on more than it was off. Ooh, where did I put that? I, well, you know what? I think I'll leave with that for Sensi. Okay, so that is all the non, non wax or non, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna talk about Sensi first and then I will do vendor, I don't think I, if I have any retail, it will be with the vendor. Okay, so first things first. I finished a fragrance flower. There's Willow. Um, you guys know the only place I keep this is in the water closet in my master bathroom because it has its own, you know, door for the toilet and there's no outlets in there. This is in Starburst Sky, which I love, love, love and wax. This, it lasted a long time, but it was not a, it was not a strong performer. So 
I wouldn't get that. I, I don't know. Never say never. Right now I have the coconuts for coconuts um, that I just put in there today. So I'm going to see how long that one lasts. I can already smell that one. Yeah, coconuts for coconuts because I brought the box down. Does it say... The do it's in the doll, yeah. Okay, so that's that. All right, so for Sensi, I went through a Southern Sweet Tea, which this reminds me exactly of Snapple's Peach Ice Tea. A little some pacing because she thinks it's time to E-A-T. Um, so this was a Bring Back My Bar from June um, of 2023. It's peach, orange juice, and white tea. This is okay to me. It's nothing that like, you know, breaks my heart that we can't get it. And it did fine. It was in the warmers um, upstairs, like in the loft in the hallway. I like to use the whole bar, um, and which is easy to do. Oh my gosh, what was I gonna say? I need a full bar for the warmers that are in the loft and for the hallway. So that was like a 24 hour. Farmer's Market, carrots, cucumber, and a hint of, I almost said rocks, a hint of rose. So when we had this the last time, I swear I was in this house. I, it was so much stronger. This, it smells like it's gonna be so strong on cold. This was a fuddy dud. This one did not really do anything for me and I warmed it kitchen, living room, Dining room, open, it's all open. Um, yeah, it, if I hovered over the warmers, I could get a hint of the rose. Yeah, so this one is disappointing from Bring Back My Bar. But it's like part of me wants to get another one and like let it sit. I, I don't know. Disappointing. I know they can't all be winners. Um, one that I'm sure you'll be shocked to hear that I warmed is Ruby Nectarine. Oh my gosh, just opening this makes me happy. Um, I'm trying to think I, when I warmed this, oh, excuse me, and where? I know my oldest son warmed some of this in his room and then maybe like, excuse me, I guzzled water. I know I feel like it's gonna give me hiccups. Um, Maybe in their bathroom and in the laundry room, I'm thinking. Or maybe I even put some in my bedroom one night. I don't know, but you guys know my love affair with this. It's Juicy Nectarine, Ruby Apple, and Pear Blossom. Sensei, why did you take that out of the catalog? Maybe it's not everybody's favorite. Um, another one from Bring Back My Bar is Juicy Peach. Freshly picked, sweet, and juicy peach. Yeah, now when I smell this on cold, it does give me that cat pee smell. And I also get a floral note. However, I warmed this upstairs in the loft. So put it in in the morning and didn't take it out till the next morning. Um, so the air was on and then off for many hours. And as you guys know, I mean, it gets rifling hot upstairs when that air is off. So I could smell this and it was a nice peach to me, which is, that's huge because peach is not something that I like. Um, I know that a lot of people didn't particularly care for this one. Would I purchase it again? No. I mean, I don't, I don't love it. It's not club worthy to me, but I was shocked that I didn't get the smell I thought I was going to get. Um, berry, berry bubble blue. I'm pretty sure this was part of the kids line. 100 years ago. This is nice. I like this a lot. This is blue raspberry, green apple, and sponge sugar. It's just a sweet, candy, fun, kind of vibrant, <clears throat> ooh, vibrant scent. Um, I put it in this morning and I can already smell it starting to fade. So it's been in for about seven-ish hours. Yeah, and the air is off. Um, so that was that, but that's a good, especially I would say like if you have like little kids that like fun, the fun and the fruity. Oh, there's this one, this sea sun and fun. So I don't know how I initially felt about this. 
I thought it really smelled very sunscreen heavy. This is salt water, orange twist, lily petals, and sunny amber. Boy, did I like this. Again, upstairs. This reminds me, and I'm like, why does it smell so familiar? I kept thinking it was a wax. No. If you know the Bonds number no. nine <laughs> perfumes, they have, what are you barking at? Nobody is here. Um, sorry. They have a perfume called Jones Beach, which is very um, near and dear to me. It's a beach that we grew up going to when I lived on Long Island. I feel like we were there every single weekend as little kids. My mom was always like, we weren't there every weekend. Um, anyway, Jones Beach that by Bond number nine. You guys, if you liked the sea, sun, and fun, yes. Yes, this is what this reminds me of. Now, I don't know. I'm not going to club this. I will get a couple more bars because this is a, this, I can see how this could be headache inducing. I probably shouldn't have used the whole bar, but this thing was a powerhouse and I really, really did enjoy it. Again, it was upstairs. So I don't know if I would want this like blasting through my house, but I love the perfume. Um, and that is what this reminds me of. Sort of, I'm going to say, very like it. I wouldn't say 100% dupe, but boy, did it remind me of that. So there's so many of the Bond number no. 9 perfumes I want to try. I have a couple, um, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, for the sunscreen lovers, and like this is like, it is a hot, hot day on the beach. The sand... Maybe this is more of like the end of the beach day, like when you're going back home and you're still like, you know, in your bathing suit, but you've been out in the sun and in the water all day. Yeah, that is this one. I think I'll pick up like a couple, a couple more bars of it just to have, but that's not something that I would need, you know, like rainbow sherbet or lemon sorbet and cocoa lime where I feel like I warm those all the time. Um, coconut citrus parfait. I'm kind of disappointed with this one. This was so, so light. Coconut milk, vanilla bean, hints of citrus. Yeah, hints of citrus. This was just very light. Again, upstairs, put it in in the morning by like mid-afternoon or noontime. I really couldn't smell this anymore. So... If you like things just like light in the background, or maybe this would be a boomer in your house. Just that's how it performed in my house. Okay. That, if that is all for Sensi. Yes. Okay. So if that is all that you were here for, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. I would love it if you stayed to talk about vendors. All right. First, from Wick Wish Candles. Oh my gosh, you guys, my sweet friend Diane, I know you guys, Diane here on YouTube, sent me um, a box from this company, gosh, in May, and I had all intentions of doing a video, and then just things just went, it was just a busy time of school year for my kids at that time when this actually arrived and I just kept putting it off, putting it off and we had company after company after company and I just wanted to warm some of this. So thank you so, so, so much, Diane. Um, and I, it's something like, something Soda Co. I never can remember. And I don't know if that's still a company of this vendors or if they just totally switched their name and this is who they are now, but it's Wick Wish Candle Co. So this is Spring at Green Gables. It's sun-dried citrus, ylang ylang, and lemon peel. You guys, downstairs, this is a powerhouse, like two days powerhouse. Um, yeah, I've been warming this. Yeah, this is, now this, you definitely get a, to me, it, like laundry. So I would say you have to be like a, like an upscale laundry. You would have to be a laundry lover to love this. But this is like a beast, beast. Really, really good. 
I definitely need to check this company out when I am buying vendor wax again. Another one, like I said, I really wanted to warm these, is Beatrix Potter, which I don't know if you're as old as me, but we had the Beatrix Potter books as kids, and my uncle, one of my uncles, my mom, one of my mom's brothers, used to buy us as kids um, were they porcelain? I feel like they were porcelain, not ceramic. Porcelain, the figurines of Beatrix Potter. And we were little, so my mom never like displayed them. She would, they'd be wrapped up like in a box and we would ask, you know, every so often as kids, if she would take them out and show them to us. Like who's, you know, which one was mine, which one was my sister's, which one was my brother's. Um, anyway, so Beatrix Potter, very special place in my heart. You didn't need to hear all my ramblings. But it's a bergamot. Oh my gosh, basil. Cyclamen. Arugula and cucumber. This was yummy. This was so good. I warmed this a couple different times in my kitchen. Yeah, and again, like an all day probably could have gotten like two days each time warming that that was so good so again diane thank you thank you thank you thank you i think two clamshells from k's um one in rosemary and mint which is rosemary garden herbs and mint and then a rosemary and lemon i cooked bacon in my house one night this week, um, the boys, my boys wanted breakfast for dinner, which we don't typically do. It's not like something my husband, you know, wants on the menu. I say with air quotes, our menu. But the boys always ask for it when he's traveling. So they wanted French toast and bacon. And I love bacon, but I cannot stand the smell of it after it's cooked. I just don't want food smells in my house. And if it wasn't crazy hot out I would have done it like on the flat grill outside but I wasn't doing that either so anyway this is what I put in to get it out get the bacon smell out of my house so rosemary lemon and rosemary and mint and it smelled delicious within probably like 40 minutes or so I could not smell it any smell the bacon anymore and that just kept going and going and going I have a great um luck with Kay then this might have been my last cookie pop from Yummers. This is just delicious bakery decadence. Oh, I love this. Cut this in half and it warms it in my bedroom. Love, love, love uh, bakery scents in my bedroom. Speaking of, this was a um, in a friend mail from my friend Katie. This was Bunny Banana Three Cakes and this was from Scoopable Wax Melts. So her three cakes is yellow cake, birthday cake, and cupcakes at Tiffany's, and then mix them with bunny bananas, which was just a delicious, oh, yummy banana scent. So this was just like creamy, deliciousness. Again, in my bedroom, cut in half into warmers. Loved it, loved it. Um, warmed Neptune, which came as a sample in my friend mail from Jason. So good. I want to say two days of this in the bathroom. Yeah, because I put it in yesterday morning and it's still in there. I don't know. Um, so this is like a, this has, this is aquatic and like a little bit like tropical. This is, this is really, really nice. From that small good shop, I would definitely get that. Now these guys didn't do as well as I thought they were going to. So from Yummer's Delight, this is Key Lime Cone, which on cold just smelled super strong lime. Like, oh yes, I'm gonna love, love, love this. Cut these in half and have these. I did three of them in my kitchen and dining room. Oh my gosh, because the label is on top, not on the side. And it was very, very light, which that was weird. But warms it and now I know it smells beautiful on cold. Okay, so this was from Dexter Pores. I have never ordered from them. I know that I think it's 30A cents now. Correct me if I'm wrong. But Tiffany from Tip Talks Wax had sent me this. God, I'm gonna say like over a year ago. 
it's been a long time. This was, I think it's called Nutty. I think it says Nutty Witch or yeah, that's what it says. So this is gooey hot caramel and roasted peanuts, which I'm not a big caramel fan. It has to like be really blended. Um, and then I get nervous about peanuts and things, which I know I shouldn't because my son has a like anaphylactic allergy to it, but it's not, I mean, he has to really ingest for it to be an allergy. Anyway, this just kept getting like put to the bottom, put to the bottom, put to the bottom. I warmed this in my bedroom. This was nice. It's that sticky caramel though that makes me feel like the surfaces are sticky with caramel. So this, I wouldn't purchase this, but I'm incredibly grateful um, that Tiffany sent that to me and I was able to try it. From Traverse, I say Traverse, is it Traverse? Um, City Wax Company, formerly known as Ava's Country Cupboard. This was strawberry cheesecake stuffed waffle cone. Creamy cheesecake, fresh strawberries, and sugared waffle cone. This was scrumptious. Mmm, yummy. Mm -hmm. In my kitchen a couple different times. Loved it. Loved it. Okay, and then some bags, and we are done. So... I finished, which I need to get this because just to explain, which I don't really need to. So this, Take Me to the Beach from Lavender and Suckles, I've had since July of 2023. And it is salty sea air and toasted marshmallows. Sounds really good. I don't know if it's that, I told you guys, I've had, pro I struggle to like salty sea air. I'm definitely coming back around to it, but I feel like it has to like really be blended. I want to smell a touch of it. Anyway, this is like super strong. Like I said, this is from July of 2023. So when I warmed this, I would warm it with beach marshmallow cookies from Lavender and Speckles, which is marshmallows, vanilla, sea salt, right? But I don't get it like that in here. Um, Driftwood, a hint of s'mores. It's their version of Bath and Body Works Beach Nights. And then it has the Marshmallow Clouds and Sugar Cookie Royale. So when I mix these two together, it's like pure perfection to me. I just have a hard time doing Take Me to the Beach like all on its own. But this was great um, in my house when I mixed it. Summer sent me this. I had, I think it was in a D-stash. Yes, that I bought from her. And she put this in as an extra. How nice. This was Blueberry Snickerdoodle Birthday. And I cannot read it, but Snickerdoodle, like cookies, and then like birthday cake and blueberry. It was a big, huge chunk that I warmed um, two or three different occasions in my front room. This did not last very long, which kind of surprised me. <clears throat> Probably about four hours. So I warmed it. Like I said, I cut it and warmed it in the front room on a couple different occasions. From Kay, this was in her like eight ounce K cuts. It was Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So that's Marshmallow Meringue, Vanilla, Fluffy Sandalwood, and Magnolia. Oh, I love this. Man, this sat for quite a while. It was pretty dang strong. I've warmed this pretty much everywhere. Um, I've mixed it with things and I've warmed it alone. And I love it. And I will continue to purchase that. I already have a cart started on K in K of things that I'm running out of. From Sassy Girl Aroma, this was Cookie Monster. I feel like this is the first time I've ever had that. It's sugar cookies and marshmallow, but my house smelled like a delicious bakery um, when I was warming this. Kitchen, living room, dining room. And then this one is one from Sassy Girl that I got bought from a D stash from Catherine. Frosted lemon cookies. So this was poured, well she got this in 2022. This was still pretty dang strong. Um, fresh from the oven sugar cookies, frosted with a sugary lemon frosting. So lots of lemony goodness here, and it was really, really good. And I think that that is all of my empties. Um, yes, so I hope that you guys are having a great week that you are staying cool and um, that you're enjoying what you're melting. Take care, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you guys soon.